any ERISA governed or group policy sold by Ohio National, but we regularly see that medical societies or other professional societies have bought policies from Ohio National and then these policies are offered to the members. Ohio National is a interesting company to deal with. Um, I would say that they definitely do pay claims, but getting them to pay claims is often a difficult process. We find that very often when dealing with Ohio National that a lot of their policies are paid under what's called a reservation of rights. So what that means is Ohio National will go ahead and say, okay, we're going to put you on claim, but we're going to reserve the right to say that we can deny you later. And the fact that we put you on claim and reserve rights doesn't mean that we agreed that you were disabled at the time that we put you on claim. Ohio National has some other policies which I've blogged about in the past that I'm also not happy with. For example, if they send someone out to do a field interview, they'll often refuse to give you a copy of the interview from the field interview. If they want to do an independent medical exam of you, they'll refuse to allow you to have any witness present or any videographer. For example, we recently had a client that they wanted to send to an IME exam. We wanted to send a videographer, we wanted to send an independent witness, or we wanted to send a court reporter, they refused all of these things. When I asked them why they wouldn't allow someone to attend, they said it's just our policy. So I have, a great, I have great difficulty trusting a company that won't allow some sort of independent witness to watch an independent medical exam and also won't share a copy with you of a field interview when they send someone out